Okay, here's my O-ring part. As you can see, I have my sketch. All the dimensions in it are driven, so that way I can then define the, the profile in context of the assembly and not overdefine it. Notice I also have an axis in here for mating purposes. I've created a mate reference, not necessary for this demonstration, but to speed up the process of mating it into assemblies, I've added a mate reference by the name of O-ring. And now when I drag this part into my assembly, it finds a part that has a O-ring mate reference in it also, so it automatically mates it into place. So I'll just make a copy of this O-ring and I'll mate this second O-ring. With my mate references, I will not be able to automatically mate this. So I'll just manually mate it into this assembly. And now I need to make this part a virtual part. That way I can make changes to it and edit it in the context of this assembly and not affect the original O-ring file. So that way I can then use the O-ring file in other assemblies. I also need to make that second instance of this one independent from the first instance so that way I can make changes to each one of them independent of each other. And now I'll just add some in-context relationships to the O-ring groove so that it will no longer have any interferences between the O-ring and the metal parts in this assembly. And now since these are independent, I can go into this second O-ring and add in context relationships for it not affecting the, the first O-ring. Now the sketch is already fully defined, so if I go in and add the constraint I want, it will overdefine it, but no problem. I can now use the diagnostics to let it find the one that I don't want and remove it from the model. So now just to show you that we'll not have any interferences when we make the drawing of this assembly, I'll just make a drawing of it. Create a section view. A section view is wrong, but I'll repair that here shortly. And probably the best way of doing this one is to select the midpoint of the line circular edge and make them concentric with each other. <laughs> 